Okay, thanks coach. Um, I'm going to talk a little bit about uh, a line, linebacker drills to share with you guys. Uh, and, and again, some of these things you guys may be doing already, uh, but I'll share with you how, how we teach it, how we do it. And essentially what I'm going to talk about is, is our block to feet, or what we call our shock and shed progression. Uh, and, and we'll divide this into three shock drills we progress through, three shed drills, and then three combination drills. Um, you know, we're trying to give these kids some tools to defeat some blocks. You guys, we all do the same thing. Uh, in our system, we're primarily a four linebacker system, so all our linebackers uh, will go through these drills. Uh, they'll follow uh, this progression from first contact days till the, you know, or some version of these drills till the end of the season. Um, we'll use, Coach talked about the spike sled. We'll use the spike sled for these drills in as much as we will the shields. We use the shields more. Uh, we, all our demos will be with the shields, but we do use both of those uh, for these drills. Uh, so again, we'll show the, the, uh, the shields. Um, three sections, three drills for each. Go ahead, Coach. Okay, first up part is we're talking about shock or delivering a blow. We want to get guys to be aggressively taking on blockers to create immediate separation, staying square, and coming downhill to the football. Uh, the first drill we teach uh, is called on the knees. Uh, and uh, what we do is we have, we work in partners, the linebacker is on his knees, knees together, heels together. Coach, you want to go to that? And we'll go, we'll, we'll go right to that and just hold it right there. Okay, we'll, we'll partner up like this with the shields. The linebacker's got his heels together, butt on his knees, hands in the holsters, uh, on his hips. And what we're looking for here is, is, is uh, a strong strike, and uh, combined with hip extension, and to get that upper body um, extending into the uh, blocker. Uh, go ahead, coach, and show that. We want him to finish on his chest so we get full hip extension. We're looking for uh, thumbs to the sky when we create contact. Um, we want an incline bench press attack with our hands, and we want to finish with, with uh, that type of hip extension. Is our other linebacker, same thing. It's a little bit better, but we're trying to work on the upper body, creating that explosion, that hand strike, upward hand strike, and hip extension. Okay, coach, next one. All right, so next one is what we call two-point. Uh, it's virtually the same drill, but we're starting in our two-point linebacker stance. Well, uh, same thing, linebacker in his stance, hands in his holsters. Uh, uh, on cue, he'll hand strike, thumbs up. Um, bench press, we want to work to get the crouch belly <coughs> underneath the bottom of the blocker's mask so we have proper leverage. Um, and then we want to finish the drill by buzzing the feet. We always want to create active feet in our drills, and that's how we'll finish, uh, how we finish that one. Go ahead with that one, Coach. So on cue, we want to finish with the feet. Creating separation, we want the crown of his helmet underneath the bottom of the face mask. Good incline bench press, thumbs up, active feet, creating separation, good football position. A couple more here, same thing. Coach, you can go to the next one. Yeah. All right, third one is a, is a um, two point locate. All we're doing in this drill, this only thing we're adding is you can see the coaches behind there. Uh, on the first cue, the uh, linebacker will attack the shield, buzz his feet, and then uh, he'll look to the coach. The coach will just simply flash a number. He'll verbalize the number. What we're trying to replicate is as you're gaining separation with the blocker, you're starting to look and locate and find the football. So we're working on their eyes and locating the ball while they're creating separation. So that's all the, all the add-on to this drill is. Go ahead, Coach. Flash a number, and then he just verbalizes it. Um, and then I'll, I'll change spots. Sometimes I'll be in different places they won't know, so they gotta got to uh, react. Um, active feet. Verbalize the number, so we're starting to get their eyes looking towards the football. Same thing here, we're at a different angle. Just keeping active feet, creating that separation, extension, verbalizing, locating, finding the ball. Okay, coach. 
All right, second piece of the, uh, these drills is the, sh the, the uh, shed. We're talking about disengaging from the blocker. We try to uh, give these, uh, all our linebackers specific techniques or a tool we want them to use, to use again, as Coach had said, using their hands to create separation and disengaging from a blocker. Uh, we call it a steer and rip technique. You guys probably do it or, or maybe heard of it. But this is what we, we like it, this is what we emphasize. And what we talk about is turning the wheel. And what we're looking at is, once we have created the shock, how we want to shed is if the ball, our, our, the, our arm to the ball carrier's side, we want to turn the wheel. Turn the wheel away from the ball carrier and rip with the opposite one as we separate to get to the ball carrier. So we're turning the wheel away from the ball carrier and ripping through the blocker to the, uh, to the ball. Um, all right, so we'll show you the steer drill. Um, we'll, we'll start in this lockout position, thumbs up, good athletic position. We'll predetermine what side we want them to go. This is very early in the season. We want them to get used to using their hands and, and, and learning that steer and rip technique to shed the blocker. So go ahead, coach, and show the drill. He already knows it's going to be left, and he finishes. What that is is that's just a tackle to air we call club up. Um, the reason why we have them jump is we just have them exaggerate their hip extension on a tackle. So that's just something we do to finish a lot of drills. So you see the first cue will be he'll buzz his feet. The second cue, he will steer to a predetermined side, rip, and club up the air. We're exaggerating things. We're, we're working on drills just to kind of get their body mechanics used to that steer technique and finishing with a club up the air tackle. So that's our steer drill. Predetermine what side he's going to go. If your mic's going to go to the other side. So we're starting, we'll, we'll work obviously both sides. Um, we like to, especially early in the year, have these guys do the drill slow to form. A lot of times they want to get rid of that shield right away and just push away from it. we got to force them to steer it. We want to see that shield twist. We want to see that back arm rip. See, that was a weak kind of rip there by Mike. But what we want to do is try to do these slow form. These kids always want to, you guys know how it works. They want to do these drills so fast. we got to kind of slow them down to get through that so they get used to that hand mechanics. So that's our steer drill. Um, 